Yeah, a buzzword in MS Talk is connections. Uh, nothing that I'm about to project to you is particularly original. I guess the only originality is in making connections between lots of ideas that I've picked up by reading, by talking, by listening to people. And one of the ideas I picked up was uh, in a talk I went to on uh, Picasso and Einstein and their connection. They never met, but what they did do is both of them worked on ideas of space and time in their different ways. So Picasso was looking at cubism and uh, multi-perspectives and multi-viewpoints. Einstein was looking at the idea of space and time and the nature of those two uh, basic ingredients of the universe through the, the vehicle of mathematics and to drive forward new interpretations of both space and time and gravity. And uh, so that's Arthur I. Miller who wrote that book and gave that talk. And I would recommend that you read this fantastic book on Einstein and Picasso. What linked the two was a book, yes, another book, a book by Poincaré on hypothesis. And in that book, there was a chapter on non-Euclidean space. And that's the chapter that led to Einstein developing the ideas of curved space and the idea of the nature of gravity. And what led Picasso working with Braque to develop his theories on cubism. The reason I or we give these talks is because we've got a passion for ideas, not just science, not just art, but actually blurring these artificial boundaries between subjects. The reason I did science was because it unlocks the imagination. It really does take you to worlds that you cannot see, where electrons can behave like particles and waves, time can slow down or speed up, lengths can contract. So I'm talking about really the evolution and the revolution in science that occurred in the early part of the 20th century, in 1905 with some of Einstein's papers, but also later on with other scientists that discovered all exotic particles and new ways of thinking about the universe. But what particularly drew my attention to the Art of Science title was the connection between art at the time, Picasso, and his development in the way that he wanted to represent the world in terms of visualising space and time, and the same work that Einstein was conducting using a different medium, using mathematics. And what drew my attention to that was reading a book by Arthur I. Miller, Professor of the Philosophy of Science at UCL. So Arthur I. Miller's book, Einstein and Picasso, I would really recommend that you do read that. I've also been influenced by lots of other sources, and particularly my own teaching. When I teach pupils, they often think about this, this very traditional view of a scientist with a, a white lab coat working in isolation. And then later on, as they grow up through the school and they learn a bit more about the history of science, what they find out is there's much more collaboration required. And in that collaboration, you're sharing ideas and making connections. So this talk is about making connections both within the field of art within the field of science and also between the arts and the sciences. And in some ways I think there's a symbiosis, a connection between those things that fuels each of those two disciplines. And at really the very, very highest level of research, whether it's uh, research in the arts or research in the sciences, I think the subjects tend to try almost coalesce and become at one with each other. And certainly by studying as many things as you can, making those connections enables you to think about things that take you outside the box, that make you think more creatively, think about breaking rules. You might spend time learning new rules, but then there may be paradigm shifts both within the world of art and the world of science. <laughs>
with science. Please continue on my journey to look at the art of science. Thank you. What's important for me is whatever I convey today, you might not understand, but I hope you want to find out more. I hope that you want to go and read more. And I hope that you really do like some of what we've said today and that you subscribe, that you tell your friends, and it inspires you to want to learn more about physics, art, science, and all subjects. Because I firmly believe that it's not all about science. It's not all about art. It's about ethics. It's about ideas. It's about conveying those ideas, listening to each other, and shifting ideas from one place to another. And without lots of connections and learning lots of rules, you can't be the one that's gonna break the rules. Let's hope that you break the rules of science, create a paradigm shift, and become the next Nobel Prize winning scientist. Thank you.